Friday last week, the government through the Ministry of Transport gave a green light to operators in the public transport service to start carrying passengers in full capacity starting today. <laughs> the move seems to give a sigh of relief to travelers following reduction of transport fee in some routes, although again exposes them to COVID-19. <laughs> Bidia walikuwa nateseka sana. Sasa kutoka Kayole kwenda town tulikuwa tunalipizwa at least siligi miya moja. Lakini saa hii tunaona siligi ya msini. Tungeomba tuendele tu kujilinda sisi wenyewe. Tuongeza tu maisha. And although some drivers and conductors welcomed the relaxation of COVID-19 protocols, others like in Gudurai 45 and Kayole areas are not that excited as fuel prices and requirement to upgrade their licenses to carry full capacity is of great concern. Sana sana zile challenge ya subuhi tulipaipatana nazo ni zile mangali ya zikuwa simeweza kupata na kala za insurance. At the same time, fumigation requirement which is to be done after every trip seem to be challenging to the stakeholders in this first day with some having different suggestions. Gari fumigation after every trip is very expensive. We as the investors wa Gidurai neza prefer gari after four trips Yende kaosh, inaoshwa. Kama hizi gari zineza pigo dawa, pa trip, ineza kuwa ni fea pia. E, jua, unajua ni watu tofauti wanaingia kwa gari. Kila skodi ni mtu tofauti ya nakuja, anaingia, natoka, hivo. Kuna bila unaneza ambia abiria pala kwa mulango, ingia na mask. Akisha ingia, unapata watu wame... But despite that, a number of passengers and PSV operators are complying with the protocols to contain virus spread. Some seem to be ignorant even as they risk their lives and those of others. Kutoka asubui, tumeweza kukua tukidisipiuti mask, ambapo tulikuwa tumepatiwa na muhesimua musali ya mudavadi, ambaye niya liweza kudonate ili watu waese kukaa kupea makodaktas na mandrivers na wale wanasimama kastaga mastages ili kuweza tusuie hii ugojwa isiweze kunenea hata kidogo. And as the country continue experiencing infections of new COVID-19 variants, stakeholders in this transport industry will have to fully embrace and observe the containment measures by the Ministry of Health to avoid spread of the virus. Full capacity of carrying passengers has now resumed in public transport and although there are protocols to be followed by stakeholders, the key responsibility remains with the passengers to make sure that they are safe during their travel. Nixon Kisaka K24 TV from Kayole, Nairobi County.